Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-July 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Aquarius, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and healthy during this time that you're watching this video. If you're new to my channel, welcome guys. Thank you so much for joining me here. I hope you gain the insight and clarity that you're seeking in regards to your love life by watching this video. And if you've been subscribing to me for a while, whether that's a few days, weeks, months, maybe even a year, welcome back guys. Thank you so much for all your love and support. And I hope you find that same clarity and insight that you're looking for by watching this video in regards to your love life. So let's go ahead and get into the general basic introduction. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other important place that you feel drawn to watching this video for the sign of Aquarius. This is not going to resonate with every Aquarius that listens to this message. Messages are said for those who need to hear them, and that's how my intuition and guides prioritize the messages I provide during this reading. So if this reading isn't for you, Aquarius, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Aquarius, it's important to remember that tarot readers on YouTube, such as myself, when we provide general readings, we're tapping into a collective of thousands of people. Therefore, it's probably unlikely that every single message in this reading will be for you. So again, only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in Aquarius. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say that cross watchers and Aquarius, it's important to keep in mind that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation where the roles are flipped and reversed, and you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should you feel like that resonates with your situation. But because this is an Aquarius reading, Aquarius will be the main subject of the reading. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. My throat chakra is a little blocked. Um, don't know if someone needs to talk to you. You need to talk to someone. There's just miscommunication, no communication, but let's see. Okay, Aquarius, um, I automatically saw like tea. I don't know if you drink tea, they drink tea, but I really heard someone say like, what's the tea? I don't know if you're trying to get more information on someone that you feel like they're not fully revealing their true feelings, their true intentions, and maybe that's why you're watching this video. Like someone wants to know the tea, okay? And <laughs> I hope I can provide you that within this reading. Um, but then I heard a song very specifically, I, I don't know the name of it. I don't even know who it's by. So if you know, comment below. But it's like, you know, it goes on. See, I was walking after midnight out in the moonlight, just hoping I found you. So I don't know, Aquarius, if there's someone who just hits you up only at nighttime or when you guys aren't talking, they start to think about you and they start to miss you and they start to want to, you know, reach out to you. But I feel as if they may even dream about you. Maybe you guys met at nighttime in a specific event, a specific party, just out and about. I don't know, but that song came to mind and kept on ringing through my head while I was getting into the energy. So that just may be a small message for a few of you. Um, don't know, but let's go ahead and get into it. So Aquarius, I'm going to tap in and ask for an energy that is romantically 
connected, energetically connected to you, that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. Yeah, Capricorn energy just popped out. Aquarius, oh, someone goes a bit back and forward with how they feel about you or what they want from you. It's never very consistent, but I don't feel as if you guys are actively speaking at this time or in physical contact with each other at this time. I feel as if they may feel like you're a bit withdrawn from them, Aquarius, as if you're not putting any effort or energy towards this because you're working on you, you're doing you. Maybe this is someone that ended things with you or that you ended things with them and they feel maybe you're just not interested in starting anything again, but that doesn't stop them from thinking about you. That doesn't stop them from dreaming about you, daydreaming about you. But you, Aquarius, they just had a lot of fun with you. They always liked to be around you. You always showed them a good time. You always were someone that brought a smile to their face, always made them laugh. Um, you know, they just find you to be someone that was very fun to be around all the time. You always got along with their friends I'm kind of picking up on. Like, they never had to worry if you were going to be, like, a windbag in the... Um, in the group, you know, they could take you out anywhere and you'd get along with just about anyone. Ooh, some, I feel Aquarius, you recently like ghosted this person or left this person on a red. Maybe that happened between the two of you. Maybe that's the thing between the two of you. You always seem to get in connection, talk, things are hot, steamy, and then all of a sudden, Houdini, who knows where they went, right? And I feel like maybe during that cycle, you were the last to do that to them. And maybe that's why they think you like withdraw from them, but they just can't help but have these hot and cold feelings for you, Aquarius. I mean, with the Two of Pentacles too, maybe it's just like, how do I approach this? How do I... They know they're, sk they're skating on thin ice with you, Aquarius. Let's just put it that way. They know that you guys didn't end things on the best terms. But all this ass grabbing, someone grabs someone's ass and they like it. They like it a lot. They like to squeeze. They like to hold. I mean, in sex, it's just like that's the place to grab, you know, for a lot of you. But Aquarius, they do see long-term happiness with you, prosperity with you. If this person ever was to commit to someone, because I'm also picking up on a non-committal energy for someone, it would be you should they decide to do that. Mm, but there's, there's that secret. There's the tea that wants to be spilled. I'm also picking up on someone who always has like the same nail polish color. Like they don't like to venture out of the same type of nail style or color. Don't know why. <sighs> Interesting. Ooh, ooh. A lot of thoughts and a lot of feelings. Someone caught feelings, Aquarius. And they struggle with that. They struggle with that because they don't know if you feel the same way, they don't know if you want the same thing, but instead of actually talking it out, instead of actually um, discussing what they want from you, they just hide it and they just pretend like it doesn't exist, but it's the farthest thing from the truth. At the bottom of the deck we have the moon card, the card of Pisces. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart, you could be connected to a Pisces. So no wonder I heard that song about the moonlight, right? I mean, Pisces, or Aquarius, excuse me. The Pisces may definitely be watching this video. Um, I mean, there's a lot of unknown around what they feel for you, why they feel so strongly for you. And it's like you guys feel each other on a psychic level, telepathic level. Like, when you guys stop talking to each other, when the connection's off, you always know it's going to be like a damn boomerang. And just eventually, even if it's a few days, months, they'll be back. You know, like, they'll be back. And it's just because there's this unexplainable, unknown, telepathic, psychic connection between the two of you. They may run, but they can't hide from their feelings, right? And I feel as if that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to avoid. They're trying to suppress. They're trying to ignore. But really all that does is just build up the more of the feelings for you. You know? It, it, it's like putting Mentos in a soda. 
and you try to close it, you think the cap's going to stop it from exploding? Absolutely not. Someone may have a view of like the city or like downtown or where they live, like from their living room, maybe their kitchen. Dining room is what I'm hearing maybe. But they think the most about you at nighttime before they lay their head down a bit. Ooh. Even if there's someone else in their bed, they think of you. I feel almost as if for some Aquarians, they try to escape their feelings of you by trying to have sex or be in relationships with other people, but they can't. And what bothers them the most is that they don't know why. They don't know why and it, it puts them in this energy of fear, of doubt, when really if you just listen to your heart, listen to your intuition, you'll find all the answers there. Let, let's. I always like to clarify the moon. Let's clarify the moon. Someone's very intuitive, very psychic. They always feel the return of this person coming. I, I feel that strongly for someone out there. Why is the moon here? Queen of Cups just shot out of the blue. Some of you could have cancer in your chart. You could be connected to a cancer. It's only a matter of time is what I'm hearing. You know, they're, they, they're trying to escape from their feelings. And it's just, they can't, they have, they love you. They have feelings for you, despite what they try to masquerade it as, despite what they try to hide it as, despite what illusion that they want to put in front of you is, oh, I really could give a shit. No, it's not true, you know? And, but for some reason, they just don't want to tap into that. But again, there's also whoever's in this Queen of Cups energy, especially if you have water in your chart, you just know that this person already has feelings for you. It's really nothing that they're hiding. Even if you wanted the tea to this, it, it's just confirming everything you already knew. So take a sip, right? I don't know why I'm being so goofy with you guys. Again, like there's there's something about you or about this person that you, you're just hilarious. I don't know why, but you know they're coming. You know they're coming, Knight of Cups, more Pisces energy, strong Pisces energy in this reading. If you have Pisces in your chart, you're connected to a Pisces. I highly suggest watching that video in case there's messages for you in that video. Let's get this rolling. How they feel about you, Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Some of you could have Capricorn in your chart, could be connected to a Capricorn. This is that on and off. This is that uncertainty, but I feel more than anything Aquarius, it's what do I want from Aquarius? And they keep on going back. Okay, I want Aquarius. I want that ass. I want that love. I want that attention from Aquarius. But then the next day, the next hour, uh, no, you know, I'm better at being single anyway. Like, you know, Aquarius maybe just doesn't feel that way. We're not just clicking on the same I'm over it. Oh my god. It's like a seesaw. And it's kind of like, you know, they just don't know how the hell they feel about you. Deep down they know, in their subconscious they know, should they take the time to unlock it, but what they see in their consciousness, what they feel in their consciousness, in their awareness, they don't know what the hell to do with it. What they do know is that they can't escape you. They can't escape that love for you. Someone may have like really long hair. They've been growing out their hair maybe recently doing the quarantine, shelter in place, you know. Some of us don't have a choice. Um, or someone's roots may be growing out pretty much. But um, anyway, that just may be conversation. But yeah, they don't know what the hell to do. How to respond to this, how to go from this. And it's just like a complete on and off with them. And I can feel the frustration behind it on whoever is on the on and off receiving end. What they think about you, Aquarius. The Hermit card, the card of Virgo. Some of you could be connected to a Virgo. You may have Virgo in your chart. They know you're withdrawing. They know that you are not going to make one peep of this, or at least to them. I feel like in the past, maybe you try to reach out, you try to see what's up, you try to see if they wanted to 
you know, go out with you and then they may have even ghosted you a few times. They may have even just disappointed you, you know, and you're just tired of it. And you're really not showing them your light this time, you know? It's like, yeah, you're going to have to do for more for me to come out of my shell because I'm pretty guarded with you. But, you know, I see how her hands are clasped, Aquarius. You're waiting for something from them. An apology, confirmation that what you felt from this person was right all along. But you're not going to make anything shown until they show themselves. That's what I feel from this and that's what I think they know from you. You're waiting something from them and that's what's making this Two of Pentacles all the more difficult to deal with because how do I do it? How do I approach it? How can I come up, you know, with the best resolution that Aquarius will be happy with? And then do I even want to? Because again, there's that ego fighting their desire to come forward to you, Aquarius. What they like the most about you? Three of Cups energy. Cancer energy. Some of you could have cancer in your chart. You could be connected to a cancer, but you're a lot of fun with Three of Cups what they like the most about you. You try new things, you do new things. I mean, you're just, I mean, a ball to be around. You make people laugh, you make people feel welcome, you make people feel, you know, you're not judgmental, you welcome anyone to your circle who won't be full of BS and stuff. A lot of their friends like you, Aquarius. Like, they think you're very attractive, you're very charming. You're very, you know, outgoing when you need to be. I also see that, like, Aquarius, you may have, like, walked around naked in this person's house. Maybe they still have an article of your undergarments, your boxers, your panties, your bra in some way. I almost feel like for some of you, you played strip poker with this person. Or just, like, a strip tease tuck-hut type of game with this person. Maybe you went skinny dipping with this person. But at the end of the day, you're a lot of fun to be around. And, you know, you do arise these feelings in this person where it's like, damn, Aquarius is fun. Aquarius is charming. I, I enjoy myself when I'm around Aquarius. But what they don't like about you, Five of Pentacles energy, Taurus energy. Some of you could have Taurus in your chart. It, 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 <laughs> I feel as if for a lot of you, there's just this ghosting that goes along where there's a lack of. You know, a lack of satisfaction, a lack of... I, I For some of you, it's like they know that you're looking for a commitment. They know you're looking for something more than just uh, a fun time. And they're afraid they can't give that to you. They're afraid they can't give you what you want. So instead of even trying, they just dip. Or, you know, it, it's like this. It's You both do it, I feel, though. And it's just been something that's been going on for a while, but it's like whoever pisses the other one off first or whoever makes the other one feel uncomfortable first, that's who's going to start the ghosting or going to start the, you know, pulling back of the energy. What they like the most about this connection, Aquarius, four of wands energy, Aries energy. Some of you could be connected to an Aries. You could have Aries in your chart. I mean... This is something that if they ever were to commit to someone, like I said in the beginning, it would be you. I do feel committal issues. I do feel vulnerability issues. But if it were to be anyone, you're a contender. Uh, I didn't mean to say it like that as if like you're an option, but it's almost as if, you know, out of all the, again, like I felt like I said in the beginning, some of these people are just trying to escape through other relationships or other sexual encounters. They're just trying to escape their passion and feelings for you. So despite, you know, maybe the list of people they've slept with, it's you're their number one that they would have a real relationship with. You guys definitely have tried new things out on each other. Oh, I just heard like, Sex upside down? How can you even do that? Really? I guess. For someone out there, it's like outrageous type of sex, but fun sex. 
For those of you who haven't had sex, they can only imagine all the things they can do to you. I just heard you're my dirty little secret. I don't know if they've ever said that to you, you've ever said that to them. Maybe for someone out there, this is for like, I don't know, maybe five of you, if any. Um, you, they or you may be in a relationship, but the passion and the chemistry is still so strong that maybe you just kind of entertain each other with the idea of, oh, remember when we did this, when we did that? Oh, you know, I still got feelings for you. And that's where that seven of swords is kind of coming in, or that's where someone's kind of being like, well, wait, if you have all these feelings and whatnot, why are you in a relationship? Sketchy. What they don't like about the connection, Seven of Swords, Aquarius energy. Some of you could also be dealing with another Aquarius or someone that has Aquarius somewhere in their chart. The secrets, the in and out, the uncertainty, the lingering doubt, but somehow you're still showing some sort of interest by still hitting me up every blue moon. What is this all about? Why are you still here if you don't care? What's the secret? Ooh, I'm gonna get the tea. Let's see. Why is the Seven of Swords here with what they don't like about this connection? And this could be you too, Aquarius. Like I feel a lot of you, this is the Seven of Swords. You're just over. Ten of Swords. It's really not over. It never really, they almost feel like, you know, okay, a couple different things. I'm getting different messages. Bear with me. For some of you that it's never really over. And if it's never really over, why? Why don't you just come out and say you have feelings for me instead of just, you know, coming in and out and then putting an end to it for us to just re-go through the cycle again. Gemini energy, by the way, with Ten of Swords. Others of you, it's like they're, they feel as if, you know, both of you, in a way, are sidestepping, not really fully committing with one another, but never really ending it in the first place because there's still feelings there. They're still wanting, they're yearning there. Emperor energy at the bottom of the deck, Aries energy. Some of you, again, could be connected to an Aries if you don't have Aries in your chart or it doesn't even have to be the case, but Someone just wants someone to step the hell up and just say how they feel, say what they want, and let's just make this work. Be grown. I'm done with this kid shit. You know, that's really what I feel. Let's get another card. Why is the Seven of Swords here? The devil energy in reverse. Capricorn energy again it's it's just kind of like I, I just want to be released from this you know if you don't want anything more from me if you don't want any more of my love my time my energy and if you're not willing to give that to me then just let me go quit dallying with this like secret stuff with this in and out with this mysterious crap never really putting an end to it because you really don't want to end things with me because at the end of the day you still have some sort of feelings towards me and just let me the hell go so I can move on with my life and I can continue down my own path cancer energy Sagittarius energy also for me as a reader I feel the frustration highest hopes four of cups energy cancer energy again what I feel from this is, you know, still keeping you unsatisfied, but wanting more. You know, in the Rider Waite version, you just see that guy kind of looking grumpy under a tree, like, damn, all I have is this, but I want more. And for them to just come at the right time into your life, giving you that cup, hoping that will satisfy you enough so when they leave again, you know, you'll be right back under that tree waiting. That's what I get from that. Deepest fears, and this is where the feelings are caught, Aquarius. Despite what they may want to tell you, despite what they may want to show you, they get sick. 
thinking of really, really losing you for good. Scorpio energy. Some of you could be connected to a Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio in your chart. Just really being alone this time, you know, doing the final stab in the heart that really leaves someone thinking, no, I'm, I'm done. Block on every single social media blocked number, no contact. That really makes someone face, see that foggy near? Face what they really have done and face what they have to live with now without you have being in their lives ever again. That's a deep fear of theirs. For the likely outcome of this situation, Aquarius, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a card from here, the Love and Lust deck. I'm going to see if Spirit or tune into this person's energy and see if there's anything else that they want to say that they haven't said or that Spirit wants to add. Oh my god. Remember when I said you were my dirty little secret? Okay, we'll get into that in a second before I jump guns. Um, it thrills you to be tied up, to be taken advantage of, to experience new sensations, to discover your personal ecstasy. So yeah, I mean, obviously there's an undeniable sexual chemistry between the two of you. Again, like you two only turn each other on in the ways you know how to with this person. I mean, you guys are psychically, telepathically in sync, especially sexually and especially with this person's body. And I feel like that's what makes them stay. The, also on top of the feelings, because hey, we have the Queen of Cups here, Three of Cups, Four of Wands. But really sexually, you guys take each other to a whole nother level. And then you have a dirty little secret. You've been desiring something naughty. The sexual power of three has drifted your imagination into erotica. Don't be ashamed. It's time to explore the wilderness. I mean, if there is someone they're in a relationship with now, they still think of you. Could be vice versa. Uh, but you're their, you're their fantasy, Aquarius. You're their favorite fantasy. And despite what they may want to show you, despite what they may want to tell you, know this they still got feelings they still think of you they still want you but it doesn't mean anything if they're not going to put effort into it right thank you so much for joining me here on aquarius i hope you gain the insight and clarity that you're seeking by watching this video i just want to say that i am still selling my hand-picked crystal sets and my handmade zodiac candles on my online shop mermaidscaleshop.com i hand select each crystal that goes in every crystal set that i feel every purchaser will resonate with I do hand make all the zodiac candles I sell on my online shop, where I intuitively choose the colors and the scents I feel every zodiac sign will vibe with. If you're interested in making a purchase for yourself or someone that you love, please feel free to go ahead and visit the online shop. If this is where we depart, Aquarius, I really hope that this resonated with you in some way or that you gained some insight and clarity. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment below. Please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Aquarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Aquarius.